suddenly that has a problem because Davido's child died. Now, in my post, I did not say... Now, I understand when people are angry, people are saying, oh, why are you mourning Davido's child? People's child are dying. I understand that that can be insensitive. But nowhere in my post did I say to anybody, don't mourn the death of Davido's child. I am a father myself. Why would I say, don't mourn the death of Davido's child? Mourn your mourning. Mourn the one we're paying you. Abi, you have the right to feel what you want to feel. But at the same time, don't tell everybody to feel what you want to feel. Feel what you want to feel. I didn't say don't feel the death of Davido's child. Please. I know there are, you people are help. You are looking for any way to make me a monster. It is your life duty to turn me into a monster. Not you people have not said to make me into a monster. But please, don't start putting your own words into my mouth. I did not say anybody shouldn't mourn. Please mourn as you like to mourn. Everybody has their way of mourning. I am not a public, I don't show public mourning. I don't show, I cannot mourn somebody in public. It is not my style. I cannot, so, uh, uh, somebody child died. It's publicly. You that you want to do that, do that. If you look at my page, I don't know Davido personally. I've only met him once. You know, we chilled for a few minutes. We took a picture. Da, da, da. I posted that picture. I've never posted anything about Davido music. I've never posted anything about Davido's success because I don't know him personally. Why would the first thing I would post about him be the death of his child? That is not how I move. If I felt moved, if I was in Nigeria right now and I felt moved enough that something is wrong with him, I won't even call. Because how do you call somebody to mourn? I will go to the house. You see, Europeans, when they say they love somebody in Europe and America and the people you look up to, when they say they love somebody and this kind of tragedy happens to that person, outside the person's house right now, will be full of people. I am happy maybe my father didn't die during the social media age. Maybe to say Fela died during social media age. Eh? Maybe all of you, nobody would have come for his burial or celebrated him the way they buried him. Maybe all of you would just pick one post on social media and go to your house and sleep and feel that that is enough. Take flowers, light candles outside his house. That's how you really show emotions and show that you are feeling somebody. It's death. It is not by force to post anything on social media. You know? And even the Davido, he's somebody that cares about the well-being of children in general. If you go back to my live on Davido's birthday, when Davido gave half a million dollars to orphanages in Nigeria, I made a live about it. I came out to congratulate him for taking such a big step for the children of Nigeria. I did. I did it live. And Davido, knowing the kind of evil, selfish, wicked people, all of you that are posting, everybody posting on his, posting about his child. He knows you people are selfish. Davido knows you people. That's why I did the live about him. And I said in that live, if you go back and watch, that these people will show Davido for this thing. They will deal with him seriously. And since that boy did that gesture, maybe people are not noticing. They are not celebrating him like they are celebrating the rest of his peers. Why? Davido told all of you, come and give me money to clear Rolls Royce. Did he have to lie? Because he knows if he tells them the truth, come and give me money for the poor children of Nigeria. He knew none of them would give him that money. He knows that you won't give him. He had to lie. He used sense for that. Give me money for Rolls Royce. The pack money given, and I say tomorrow, no day. That boy took the money and gave it. And me, I can't post money in picture. So I thought ah, the best way to is also extend his, the way he does, the way he extended himself on his birthday. That don't celebrate me alone. Think about all these children that are not celebrating their life.
That was what Davido did on his birthday, in case all of you did not know. So today I posted, I said, okay, fine. Today is a day to also remember, also in his memory, kind of, all these children that are not safe in our country. Because this is a safety issue. Children are not safe in our country. Suddenly, all these idiots came out talking nonsense. Yesterday, I stopped being friends with somebody very close to me. And from today, me and that person can never talk again. They know themselves. This bastard person that I've done so many great things for this person I'm telling you about, came to my inbox to tell me, oh, so you are so insensitive. How dare you post it? This person had the audacity to come and tell me about this person that is my friend. If I release song, the person know the poster. If I do show, the person know the poster. No matter what I do in my life, this person would never share it with anybody. This same bastard person had the audacity to come and tell me. You see how people are doing Ojoaye? Suddenly this person is mourning more than the bereaved. Coming to fight me on behalf of somebody that they do not even know. Me that you know, you've never celebrated me. So if you people have, if you want to mourn, mourn. Where in my post, where in my post did I say, don't mourn Davido's child? Where in my post? It's because you people are wicked. You never want to think about the less privileged people of Nigeria. You never want to think about them. All our children are not safe. All our children are not safe. Maybe if we are fight, if we are fought for in Nigeria, where there are child-proofing laws. That you build a house, you must child proof it. If there were laws like that, who knows what we'll, what we'll be saying today? Our children are not safe in our country. 